Hey everyone, Struggle Lines here again with Jean Alon, the author of Quick Access Pop-Up. And today we're going to dive into how to use live folders. And live folders, they're pretty amazing because, you know, in QAP, you're creating these menus and submenus. But what if you have like a folder structure with folders and files that you want those to be your menus, right? So this is a really cool thing you can do within QAP. Yes, away, and these, these, live, hi Joe, these live folders are updated, so they reflect the current content of your uh, folders without having to add any favorite or move anything. It's then done automatically by quick access pop-up. Let me uh, share my screen to show you some example of these live folders. So I open my menu here and you have here a user folder, the user folder that I can show you. So let's see what's in this folder. So that's a folder that contains most of your libraries or folders like documents, videos, things like that. So instead of having to open the folder and then click again to uh, you go in one of these subfolders, you can access it directly here from the quick access pop-up menu. So this is the simplest live folder that you can create. It creates a menu with one level of content of this uh, folder and it contains only the folders here, but if a folder like this content documents, so let's see another example here. This one here is with the document included. So here you will have the folder itself, but all and its subfolders and going up, down to two levels. So we can also have the sub subfolders in this menu. And we also have the documents so we can open it in very quickly from any folders in the to first level of this folder. So this one is the document folder. So I will open it here. Move this For the icon, here. is it auto assigning or is it going to actually pull in? Like if you had a Word doc or something, would it pull? No, because the, yeah. Does it pull in the program that's associated to it or just that it's a file, it's the same kind of static icon? Yes, these are all files that are uh, recognized by their uh, extension, if you wish. So it will open, for example, if I select here, this one here is my pet project charter it is a wordpad document that i have in this uh, demo environment so it will open the application and showing this this document right it's just that the wordpad i didn't if you'd have like a word doc or something we would have seen like the word icon in there. yes the yeah. icon is associated automatically cool. from the extension of the file so it will be excel icon or word icon. so we have this one here with three sub levels so let's show this menu here so we have the clients subfolder. Under the clients subfolder, we have ABC, ACME, and then we go can go down. You can decide how many sublevels you want to include in your live folders. You can also decide if you want to include documents or not. Let's see uh, now if we go inside this folder here. So that's the first one. So when you are in a favorite of type folder, you will have a tab here that is called live folders options. That's where you decide to turn by default. It will be like this by default you, when you set a favorite folder, it will be an item that you can click to go to this folder. But if you enable the live folder option here, you can decide how many sub levels of folders you want to be included in your folder menu. So you, there's no limitation on the number of levels you can select here. There's a, another limitation I'll talk about in a second, but here you set, select, for example, three levels. You can decide if you want the menu to be sorted by name, by size, by modified date, ascending or descending. You can hide or show icons, files, files, extensions, you can hide hidden or system files if you wish. And if there's a lot of item, and I'll show you right now, just here, this menu here that is very long, here. So because there's a large number of items in this folder, it cannot be shown entirely inside your screen and you would have to scroll here to go through the, the full content of your menu, which is not very convenient. So what you can do with quick access pop-up here, let's change this favorite here. And instead of uh, having this shown only in one, in one column, I can ask quick access pop-up to show Three, 30 items per column. So now if I save this menu and open it again, here now we, we have this long 
folder being split in three columns. So you can decide how, how many items you want in uh, each column if it's a very long menu. So this was the other options I wanted to show you. Uh, and let's return to the live folder option. When the, this, this menu will be uh, updated regularly by quick access pop-up, Sometimes, if you have a very, very large menu, you can prefer to have it refresh only manually when you want to do it. Because during the refresh time, there's a small time where the menu is not available. And if your menu is very large, you can uh, decide that you want the live menu to be refreshed on demand. And it is done by using this menu here, tools, and refresh live folders and shared menu. That way, it's done only when you want it. And uh, finally, if you want to include documents, you will click this checkbox here. And by default, it will include all documents in the folder, but you can decide that you want to include only, for example, docx document or xlsx documents only to include Word or Excel documents. Or uh, on the contrary, if you want everything except MP3, for example, you can say exclude mp3 and the menu will contain all the documents except the mp3s. So here you just have to indicate extensions uh, without asterisk, without just the, the three letters, three, four, five letters of the extension of the files. So that's uh, that's how you can set up live folders. There's Did one limit. Yeah, I have a question on that. So is, is that a, an exact match? So like, you know, with the old style of Excel, it was the extensions were XLS and then the new one is XLSX. If you put in a XLS, is it going to drop out the XLSX? You have, to put, well, you have to put the exact extension that you want to be included. Yeah. And there's no yet, it's something that's on the wish list to include wow. the regular expression to make something more complex here. But uh, for most users, it, yeah. it, 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 it does what it has to do. Yeah. Yeah. So there, there's one limitation I have to talk about here is that, of course, you could say, oh, great, I'll use my C root drive, turn it into a live folder with yeah. uh, 20 sub levels and include all the files. Yeah. So I would have one menu with all the content of my drive. But you can imagine that doing that, it will take yeah. a very long time to build a menu. And even there's a certain limit where Windows cannot handle uh, me, uh, because the, the quick access pop-up menu is built using Windows. And there's a limitation on the number of items you can include in the Windows menu. By experience, it can be very high. It can go into the thousand. I would not say thousands, but 1,000. But just to be safe, because I've seen situations where, it, it, and when it, it, it's too much, there's no, ex, there's no alert by, by Windows. It will just hang or become very slow or things stops to work simply without any indication of the reason for that. But uh, by experience, we know this is when a live, a live menu, live folder is too big. So I put a limitation to 500 items, oh, cool. which is quite big. So before you get to there, you have to play with it and add a lot of uh, uh, items or, or uh, use uh, the documents options and sub-level and these things. So if whenever you read this limit, you will see a message that will, let me just enable this item here that I disabled first. And now when I will refresh, because this live folder here is too big, and let me show what I mean by too big here, it includes four sub-levels of the program files uh, folder, okay? Which is, there's a lot of stuff there. So when I save it, because it goes beyond the 500 items limit, First, it's take a little, little more time because of the number of items and it will reach a limit and show you a dialog box and telling you that items over this limit. So items over 500 will be uh, absent or disabled from your menu. So uh, that's a protection. For many systems, you could increase it to 800 or 1000. So you would have to experiment to see if you really want to have a big live folder, which is not necessarily the best thing to do. Sometimes it's better to have the, it smaller and also quicker. But if you want to do that, you could go here in the options, in the advanced menu, advanced options. And there's this number here, number of items in live folder. So instead of 500, if I put 1000, I will save 
this option and refresh the menu. It is uh, being refreshed as uh, it, is, it is saved and you see it takes more time again because this live menu is very big and I didn't have an error message and if I go to check this menu here, we see that we have all these items with down to four levels of, of sub menus, which is very big. So, but that's one way to increase uh, this. Uh, that's the way to increase the capacity of live folders menu. Also, yeah. I mentioned that in this uh, same uh, options uh, dialog box here, menu advanced option, you can also enable an automatic refresh of your quick access pop-up menu. So it will be re recommended every five minutes, the menu will be uh, updated with the changes that are done in your folders and in your shared menu, which is also something that may need to be refreshed. Uh, or you can, add, of course, they will be refreshed every time you save your menu, you change something everything will be refreshed, but when you're using on a day-to-day -day basis, it will be refreshed every five minutes. It could not be done very live, real dynamically live. Uh, it would take too much resources to do that. It's, so that's the way to no, have it refreshed. So maybe we should really. call it the, the zombie approach because they're kind of half alive, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> zombie folder, it would be a, awesome. a big seller. <laughs> so that's it, I would recommend is to keep live folders to the top of the tree, not to go at the very lower details because it can be rarely used. Yeah. These yeah. A lot of resources. Sub -level. Take time every time you refresh your menu. So staying at the top, one level, two levels, and then go to the folder itself if you need to, to go deeper in your... Yeah, in your list content. multiple live folders. When you want to go deep, have them have those as separate items, right? Yeah. Um, and so that for way, example, yeah. I have one for the root folder of my Dropbox folder. So all I need is the root of the, my Dropbox, and then I can go anywhere in one click in my Dropbox, and then I dig if I need to go deeper. Right. Of course, I have favorite that will be specific to items I'm working on currently in my Dropbox folders, but sometimes I need to go somewhere else in the Dropbox, and it's uh, available that way uh, using a, a live folder. And just to confirm, everything that you're working with there, if you happen to have an open or a saved dialog box open, it's going to... It's always there. So okay, let me show go. it to you here in... Which is one Note of my favorite things in QAP. In Notepad, I need to save something in Notepad, save as. And I could save it here in my very long... Let's, uh, let's use one that has folder here. This one is under program file. It's not a good idea to save a file there. So sure. let's use this one here under clients, my ABC client in the status report. That's where the file will be saved. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, thank you, well, John. That's it, Joe. Very cool. Thank you. All right. Bye. Thank you for watching that tutorial on quick access pop up. From time to time, we have discounts here at the Automator. It just depends on when you watch this video. So if you go to this above link here, the Automator slash QAP discount. Um, you can see if there's a discount available. If not, it's still a very reasonably priced program. Go ahead and go down to shop.quickaccesspopup.com and see what the pricing is. It's a great, great tool. I highly recommend it. Cheers.